Hey everybody, this is just a very short video to say, um, to, well, to talk about problem one on test 23 for just a, about four more minutes. That's about all we need. But <clears throat> there was a question today that arose about, um, oh, actually, before I, before I even go any further, let me say, do not even watch this video. The, this video is not necessary for the class. Uh, it, it is just dealing with the question that arose today about, well, what would happen if you define the phaser differently as the real part, as you, <clears throat> the relationship between the time domain function and the phaser to be with a negative sign rather than the positive sign. But if you think that this would cause you any confusion at all, <laughs> I certainly encourage you just turn off this video, don't even watch. But uh, if, you know, if you're confident that this would not confuse you, it, it might be of just a little bit of interest since the question came up today. And so I wanted to show how it goes. So what I've done up here, everything in purple is the conventional way to do things. But then in red, uh, what I've underlined in red, it's not really an underline, it's a minus sign. Uh, wherever I've put a, a, a red minus sign shows you the very few changes that would result if you define the phaser differently. So if you define the relationship between the, the time domain signal and the phaser in this way, in other words, if you changed it, and instead of having plus J omega t, which is what our book has, if we had minus J omega t instead, it would, it would make a few differences, but in the end, you get the same result. And that's what I'm going to show you. So for instance, with this problem, the first problem from test 23, Okay, if you defined it in that way, then the derivative would uh, give you a minus j omega out front instead of a positive j omega. Now, that would make no difference in this first equation because omega is equal to zero. So we would still get i1 tilde equals one half, and so i1 of t would be one half. But the second equation, the negative sign in that second equation, would make a difference because there omega is equal to 2. And, and so instead of getting two, positive 2j two times i2 tilde here, you would get negative 2j times i2 tilde. Now the rest of the equation would be the same. Okay, so then when you group together uh, everything on the left-hand side, instead of 1 plus 2j times i2 tilde, you would get 1 minus 2j times i2 tilde. And so when you then solve for i2 tilde, you would get minus 1 half over 1 minus 2j instead of 1 plus 2j. Okay? And therefore, when you put this in polar form, you would still get the same magnitude, but instead of getting e to the positive j, 116.565 degrees, you would get uh, e to the minus j, 116.565 degrees. Now at first then that, that gives you the impression that you're coming up with a different answer, but that's not the case. And let me show you why. So then I2 of t would be equal to 0 0.2236 cosine. But notice that since in this case we're talking about <coughs> I of t is the real part of I tilde e to the minus j omega t, then instead of having cosine of positive 2t plus 116.565 degrees, we would have cosine and then we'd have minus 2t here. And then we would use this minus 116.565 degrees. So everything here inside the parentheses would end up getting a negative sign with it. But of course, the, the cosine of a negative of a number is the same as the cosine of the positive of that number. And so we would end up, as we said, with the same result. So everything would work out, but um, your book and, and every book I have ever seen defines the phasers with the um, positive j omega t. Um, I, I think I'll just leave it at that. I mean, some people have this question about, uh, you know, physics books use typically use I instead of uh, J. And some people think of I as being equal to J. And some people think of uh, I as being the negative of J. And, uh, but let's don't go down that path. Uh, by far, 
uh, the best thing for you to do, uh, without a doubt, just go ahead and and remember what's in purple here. That's what agrees with your textbook method of doing it. But I just wanted to show you that if you, as long as you were consistent, everything would work out if you defined it differently. So that's it. Uh, and uh, good luck.